Good morning to all of you. I am Raghavendra, statistics lecturer from this college. So now we are in sixth semester. So first semester we have two statistics papers, namely paper five and paper six. So in today's class we are starting paper five. So statistics.
Okay. So based on this example, so what is your hypothesis? Thing? So hypothesis is a statement or condition. Generally, hypothesis testing can be classified into two types: null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. So according to your example, null hypothesis is there is no significant differences between sample mean and population mean. In other words, we have to say that sample mean and population mean are homogeneous. Okay, that is your null hypothesis. Alternate hypothesis is there is some significant differences between sample mean and population mean. Okay. In other words, we have to say that the sample mean and population mean are not homogeneous. So, in case simple ka, we are going to go on and say, if I am going to go numerator and turn it, numerator and then we go on x bar minus mu. So, our numerator is not going to be equal to zero change. Equal to zero change is the which is the word hypothesis testing. So, to the x bar minus mu is equal to zero. In place, we are going to go x bar is equal to mu. So, already we know that where x bar means sample mean. New means population. So, which is the new word? H naught. So, already we know that null hypothesis is a hypothesis which is tested for possible rejection. It is always denoted by symbol H naught. So, quite obviously, we are designing alternate hypothesis. Alternate hypothesis is also one of the type of hypothesis which is opposite to the null hypothesis. It is denoted by symbol H1. So, based on null hypothesis, what is the alternate hypothesis? So simply we will write opposite sense that is x bar is not equal to mu. x bar is not equal to mu means here sample mean is not equal to population. So that is the hypothesis testing for t test for single mean or based on your example. Okay. So continuation for testing the hypothesis and in particularly which hypothesis is to be accepted and which one is to be rejected by using this t test formula or test of significance formula. Okay. So finally we have conclusion also here. So what is your conclusion for this type of formulas? In terms of I mean conclusions can be classified two types. For example, for less than case and another one is greater than case. For less than case we have may conclude that if calibrated value is less than table value at alpha percent level of significance, that is 5 percent is a 1 percent and n minus 1 degrees of freedom, we may accept in the null hypothesis H0. So, we are accepting the null hypothesis H0 means there is no significant difference between sample mean and population. For example, we have also another conclusion which is nothing but if calculated value is greater than table value at alpha percentage level of significance means 5 percentage or 1 percentage whatever it may be and n minus 1 degrees of freedom, n is nothing but given sample size. We may accept in the alternate hypothesis H1. So, according to your example, accepting the alternate hypothesis H1 means there is some significant difference between sample mean and population. So, like that, one test of significance based on single mean test. Okay, na? Even though you have idea of the last semester to all cases under. Okay, na? Last semester flow of T test to F test to chi square test to Nichesam, okay, na? for unit 4 and unit 5. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we have two samples. So, two sample means, so we need to sample and the chest. So, sample 2. So, for sample 2, also we need to data random. No? So, maybe 71, mean will be 40, 50. Okay? So, we need to use the example just there. So, in that sample 1 mother each other, so we are using P test for single main. You can make each other two samples each other. Two samples each other, they are asking to measure the significant differences. So, in such cases, which formula is suitable? F test, P test, chi square. I mean, in general, we have only three statistical tests. Whatever T test to F test to chi square test. So, it won't examples. I mean, e type of examples. A test is suitable. So, I think we meaning says T test is useful for measuring the means, I mean significant differences between means. F test is used for measuring the significant differences between variances, I mean two or more than two variances, okay, whatever it may be. Chi square test is also used for measuring the significant difference between independent variables. So, good point going T test demo means of differences sector and give you just there. F test demo measuring the variances. Chi square test is also measuring for 
what is the independent variables okay so e type of examples ki a formula use chestam t test for single mean two means are so ikkada two samples unnai kabatti kada mana two means apply cheyali i mean we are using test statistic formula which is nothing but t test for two means or test of significance is based on two samples so end formula gurtunda meeku okka chudandi idena x1 bar minus x2 bar is whole divided by s1 square by n1 plus s2 square by n2 okay is followed by some table value so end table value ikkada meeku inda mana table value t n minus 1 comma alpha percent rasa t n minus 1 rasa for that example we have only one sample from this example we have two samples two samples ka table value mark avutundi so it comes the table value t n1 plus n2 minus 2 For n1 we are subtracting one degree so now for n2 also one so totally we are subtracting two degrees of comma alpha percent okay as it okay and we should clear this first malli rasthanle adi board aadipindi so ikka rasthu chudandi small dot is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar is whole divided by S1 square by N2, S2 square by N2 is followed by some table value is followed by N1 plus N2 minus 2 alpha percent degrees of freedom. Okay na? So from this example, what is the testing of hypothesis? So I don't know. So single sample which we have done, we have done some. measuring the significant difference between sample and population okay but here they are asking giving two samples so two samples is enough to significant difference ela calculate chestar okay na so here also we are equating the numerator term of your formula so numerator term is equal cheyandi em chestaru equal chesa avasaram ikka da chudandi x1 bar minus x2 bar is equal to 0 which is the thing but x1 bar is equal to x2 bar. so x1 bar x2 bar x2 bar where x1 bar is the sample mean mean of first sample x2 bar is the mean of second sample so which is nothing but which hypothesis null hypothesis or alternate hypothesis so equal to undi kabatti there is no significant differences and then what i am asking which is the word null hypothesis so mari check it so based on the given information null hypothesis is there is no significant differences between two samples sample one and sample two. that is our hypothesis in other words we have to say that two sample means are homogeneous okay uh, same in similar mode alternate hypothesis is there is some significant differences between two samples there is some significant differences means the two sample means are not homogeneous so by concluding the hypothesis testing we may using suitable test statistic formula which is nothing but t test for two means okay this one will be calculated value and this one will be table value finally we have to conclusion also there what is that if calculated value is less than table value at alpha percent level of significance and n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees are predominant we may accept any other hypothesis otherwise otherwise means another condition if calculated value is greater than table value at same level of significance and n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees are predominant we may accept any alternate hypothesis okay so it's like two samples ipudu varaku em undadu meeku sample one nichina appudu test of significance based on single mean ante t test for single mean apply chestam two samples nichina appudu same test for two means alla kaavali three samples the em cheyali okay na chudandi ok sari so we have also the three samples or sample so for sample three also we are taking Information randomly, which is number sixty, forty-five, forty. Okay, na. So three samples we have. Now, put E test of the test. T test, F test, K S test. Any one of them? So by proper way, for example, we have three sample means. I mean, measuring the we have to. Our problem is to measuring the significant difference between three sample means. 
in such cases t test is not suitable method i mean t test for single male and t test for two males both methods will not be suitable for measuring significant differences in such cases we have to i mean we have an alternative procedure which is nothing but anova means analysis of variance so that is the brief introduction about concept of anova so mere simple ga ela gurtukuntarante analysis of variance is a one of the statistical method which is used for measuring the significant differences between three samples or more than three samples for example our problem has only two samples in such cases we are using t test for single mean i mean two means okay na three samples number matram meek t test apply avadu ala chotla cheyal meeru alternative procedure avasaram avutundi for measuring significant differences which is nothing but r a fisher introduced the kada now so the concept of now was introduced by one of the famous statistician r a fisher in the year of 1900 
alpha is the ith treatment atom. Alpha is the ith treatment atom. Next, EIJ is nothing but random error due to chance causes, or simply we call it as uncontrolled variations. So, simple rasta no. EIJ means uncontrolled variations. Yeah. 